Well, over the last year, gun safety has become a major topic of discussion throughout the country, prompting many states to enact new laws when it comes to purchasing and owning a firearm. And whether or not you agree with these changes, a lot of them put an emphasis on safety, especially for those who've never owned a gun before. Brian Spiros is in Mardella Springs this afternoon with Tactical American Security Consulting. Brian? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, this is information people need to know whether you already have a gun or you plan on buying a gun. And here to help me talk all about it is Evan Avnat who is the CEO of Tactical American Security Consulting. So the first thing, tell us a little bit about the company and what it is that you exactly do. Well, we provide all types of security consulting, both residential, business, um, and we also do firearms training, which is our mainstay. So a lot of different stuff to keep people safe in their home and in their business. Now, That's correct. we're going to talk about gun safety. As of October 1st here in Maryland, you're required to take a safety course in order to buy a gun. How does that safety course work and how long is it? It's four hours. You have to do two hours of classroom and you also have to do two hours on the range. And that includes Maryland laws and safety with handguns, um, how to properly function a handgun, cleaning a handgun, so on and so forth. And then it's actually two hours of live shooting. And you, you guys literally, you take people through all this because we That's should correct. mention a, a gun is not a toy, it's a, it's a tool and you really need to teach people the right way to use it. Absolutely. I mean, it's a tool like any other. It's like a, just like a chainsaw or just like a sawzall. If you don't know how to use it, it can definitely hurt somebody, um, you know, or you can hurt yourself. So, um, you know, a gun is something that you really have to, to train how to use instead of just going and buying one and then, you know, taking it to the range yourself. And not knowing all the the, the stuff Safety that comes, the responsibility that comes along with it. Absolutely. We mentioned Delo uh, Maryland. What about Delaware? What do we need to know in terms of the safety course there? Delaware, if you want to get a concealed carry permit, you have to take an eight-hour class as well as do some additional steps for Delaware law. But uh, we also provide that class, and that and that class is four hours of classroom and four hours of range, including a qualification. And we should mention that in Virginia, you need proof of a safety course um, to to carry a, a gun as well. So concealed, all stuff, correct. right? So all stuff people should keep in mind now. Now, one of the other things you, you guys do too is you work with people to help prepare them if in the unlikely event there's a home invasion, something we hear about often recently in recent Absolutely. years. What exactly do you do with a homeowner in that event? Well, it's actually a four-day class. We do it over the course of about a month, so it's not four days straight. Um, but our first class is NRA, which is a basic handgun safety course. Uh, it, it also certifies them as a NRA uh, for NRA pistol. And then our second day we do tactical shooting, so that's moving and shooting, shooting from cover and concealment, multiple target engagement, judgmental shooting, line of fire issues, um, as well, of course, as safety uh, and uh, using the proper, uh, you know, techniques in order to engage uh, various aggressors. Um, our third day is either tactical rifle or if it's a business, we'll come to their business and train our staff. Um, on how to be safe if an armed robbery occurs. And the fourth day, we actually come to the person's home or their business and train them and their family or their staff on how to react to armed robberies. And the way we do that is we actually stage armed robberies or home invasions uh, in their business or home. Now, going back to uh, gun safety, you know, whether someone has had guns in their home or they plan on buying some, what are some things they should keep in mind, especially if they have a family and children? Well, number one, always keep your guns secure. Don't leave your guns laying around the house. And this is for a couple reasons. Number one, obviously, you don't want children or other unauthorized persons to gain access to your firearms. And that includes people that are uh, mentally unstable or mentally ill. Um, number two is that you don't want criminals who may break into your house in order to steal your firearms to, to, to gain that you know, goal and, and liquidate those firearms on the street, and, which is going to occur in a street crime. So, you know, again, you don't want uh, those types of situations to occur. You obviously want to keep your firearms locked up and away from unauthorized persons. And be trained how to use them. And Absolutely. also, if someone has a gun on them, what are some good safety tips to keep in mind with that? Well, first of all, don't point your gun at anything unless you're willing to destroy it. Even if the gun you know for a fact is unloaded, you never point a firearm at anything that you're not willing to destroy. Number two is always keep your finger off the trigger until uh, you're ready to use it. And number three is that obviously you have to take a safety course or should take a safety course in order to operate that firearm. Certainly has a lot of good information. Evan, thank you very much. We certainly appreciate it. And of course, if you would like more information on Tactical American Security Consulting, including the dates, times, and locations of any of the classes that they offer, all you have to do is go to our website, delmarvalife.com, and click on the show tab. With that said, Jimmy and Lisa will send it back to you guys in the studio. I've never owned a gun. Do you guys have firearms in the family? Yes. I've, I've, I've been curious about it. There's a lot of good stuff to know. Yeah, you need to be, educate yourself, yeah. certainly. We'll